police chief Sawyer ethics. As you all know, police chief uh, uh, spent, uh, uh, well, I sent you all snippets of the uh, comments made at the Board of Selectmen's meeting last night, uh, and I also sent you uh, a copy of the um, PDF document that he had sent me last week. He sent it to me on Thursday. I did not receive it until Friday. Uh, not his fault, not my fault. That's just the way it is. Believe it or not, I do not have my computer on 24-7. So I saw it on Friday, and uh, at the bottom of that uh, email, he asks me or invites me to call him uh, if I have any questions. And as you know, I cannot talk directly to the police chief because of the protocol. But since he gave me the invitation, I called and left a voicemail for him. Okay, because I did have questions. I did not share the communication that he sent to me with the body as a whole because, well, two reasons. I didn't think it was appropriate, and I wanted to ask, get certain questions answered first. And since I hadn't heard from him back, uh, I did get a, a voicemail from him uh, about 3.30, but I shut down about 3 o'clock before these meetings. so. Uh, there was no time to follow up with them on that point. Uh, so that's why I didn't share it with you guys. But after last night's uh, comments, I, I felt that some of you committee members may want to know about the more details because it was addressed to the chairman of the budget committee. And I wanted to explain why you guys were not shared with that document because, again, I didn't think it was appropriate. Uh, the question of ethics has been raised by the chief. Uh, regarding two elected members of this committee. Over 30% of this body, their ethics are being challenged by the police chief. Uh, over 20% of the entire body is being challenged by the police chief. And thus, I consider the integrity of this committee to be challenged. And I want to point out that basically two main points. When it comes to ethical matters of whether or not one should recuse themselves from uh, a particular item, that is an individual decision. It is not a decision for the body to make. It's not a decision for the, board or the, for the chairman of any body to make. If you have an ethical challenge, you have a, a duty yourself to call it out. There is no law that dictates that you know, we, as a body, can say you or you cannot speak or vote on a particular topic. There is no law that gives me, as a chairman, the authority to say, no, you can't speak or no, you can't vote on a particular topic because you're ethically challenged. That's an individual decision. It's up to their conscience and only their conscience. Now, the chief has an opinion that there is an ethical conflict. Well, one of the questions I have for the chief, and one, if I do manage to speak with him again, uh, I will ask him if, I mean, these facts that he put forth were known to him months in advance of his attendance here with his police budget. If he felt there was a conflict, if he truly felt there was a conflict, why didn't he tell us or tell me prior to his presentation of the police budget? Why did he wait until after the presentation of the police budget? Because it leaves the appearance that he has a problem with some of the questions that may have been asked of him when he presented his police budget. So I have issues with this budget committee ever being challenged in such a fashion, or any member on it, I will defend you all, any one of you individually and the budget committee as a whole, when its, being, when it's integrity is being challenged. We do work, and we work hard. We try to do the right thing, just as I'm sure other department heads are assumed to try to be doing the right thing. We shouldn't be challenged as though we're not doing the right thing under the assumption that there's something wrong. There is nothing wrong. And where do you draw the line? If my wife gets a parking ticket, should I recuse myself according to the police chief's evaluation? If my son or daughter gets a fine for littering, should I recuse myself from it? If I get pulled over on a traffic stop and I'm given a warning instead of a ticket, should I recuse myself because I might be in favor of the police budget? 
Where do you draw the line? That is not clear to me. And I think it's probably not clear to anybody. So, anyone has any comments on any of this, I, you're welcome to do so. Are there any comments? Mr. Lapp. New Hampshire seems to be all over the place legally on what conflicts of interest are. Some decisions have said, even if there were a conflict, unless the vote of the member decided the outcome of the issue, it didn't matter. Other cases have held that a member voting who is held to be in conflict defeats the validity of the vote of the whole body. So my thought would be where this is a, a somewhat complex issue to consider referring the matter to the municipal uh, New Hampshire Municipal Association for an opinion as to whether or not there is either a conflict or the appearance of a conflict. May I? Sure. Uh, I believe the, the cases that you're citing refer to governing bodies, specifically land use bodies. In part, but it wasn't just land use. It can I, be any... I wasn't they, aware of other bodies yeah, in those, those yeah, cases. It's not just land use, but the bottom line is we have an avenue to seek expert legal advice on the issue rather than a month or two from now finding that we're into some kind of an unanticipated legal conundrum. So is there a desire for this body to request from the Selectman's Lobbyist Group known as the New Hampshire Municipal Association for a legal opinion on, uh, on this uh, opinion of uh, the police chief? I'm not getting a sense that we want to do that, but someone speak up if I'm wrong. I mean, I, Mr. Ladd is suggesting it. I don't think he's making a motion, but... I think it's a good idea. Why not get the experienced advice and try to do the right thing? Okay, then I, I'll make the motion formally. And I'll second it. Okay. Discussion? Mr. Walburton? If you go on the NHA, NHMA website, the town may be getting more than they're asking for because it absolutely says that anybody at any time, and meaning in me in this case, doesn't have to recuse himself at all. It is strictly land use boards. There's also a section under the NHMA for the selectmen's rep this evening to, to read that specifically states there are times that within towns that if somebody uses bullying tactics against members of a committee to try to sway their vote, to try to prove or to suggest it's a conflict of interest, and you just answered the question. I don't think we need any advice. It's, it's very clear that a recusal for an elected official, unless you're on a land use board, and we've seen it in this town where developers have been asked to take the majority vote, I, as a member, am not going to recuse myself. It's as simple as that. And I think for you to say that we are going to get legal advice when it's perfectly known fact that the issue is it's up to me, as the chairman has said. I think it's, uh, I think it's prolong prolonging an issue. I say we move on to what we're doing. I think the longer we drag this out, um, and I've, I've done research since last Thursday, um, I haven't slept since last Thursday. I so I, I don't know if I appreciate uh, your intentions because that's all we need is another lawyer. You go on the NHMA website, it specifically states what recusals are and that the person asked to be in recused has the right to say yes or no, no one else. So I am not taking a position that you should not recuse yourself. I am taking a position as a member of this body that the body, and you, particularly if you're what you represent is what the MHMA would agree to, get the protection of that opinion so this body doesn't have this issue kind of out there in the ether where people are going to come back and say, I don't agree with this, I don't agree with that, maybe you shouldn't have taken that vote. It, it just, I don't think the people have anything out there. That's where you're misinterpreting things. No. I don't think the people in this town are going to stand for it. And I don't know who you've been talking to, but as far as I'm concerned, the question should be asked of me, what I plan on doing, not a committee. I, 
I'm in this memo, not you, Mr. Ladd. I know. Okay. But so I'm a answer. member of the board that is drawn into again. this because okay. we, I'm not. What totally do you mean drawn certain. into it? I'm the one being asked to recuse myself. Why? And what I'm telling you, the only thing I'm going to say is for 40 years in this town, I have been fair and impartial. Mm -hmm. I plan on voting and discussing, as the chairman has alluded to, mm -hmm. on the police budget. So I'm against this totally. I don't think we need another opinion. Mm -hmm. I think it's just another way of sideswiping what really went on. All right. Uh, Regina. I just want to say that I think that what you said in the very beginning is exactly true, and it is up to the individual. So let us just wait till we review the police department budget and let Mr. Warburton make his decisions then. May I just say something, Mr. Moore? One more time, I'm confused. <laughs> so on. I, I was at the meeting last uh, two weeks ago, whenever the time period was, when the police chief and the five chief were here. All the questions that were asked at the meeting, from my perspective, I thought they were good questions and fair questions to everybody there. I also remember many times that the chairperson has reminded me and trying to educate me that we are allowed to ask any question we want. In reference to the budget, we can ask any question, and it is the person sitting at the head of whatever department we're talking to to answer our questions. I've, this is my third year sitting here. I've never heard a question that I thought was off base or wrong. Actually, I thought some of the questions we have asked weren't detailed enough, and we haven't had enough information to drive things further. Hmm. So I... I I know it sounds like you kind of like me from what you said. I, I, you got to keep it to yourself. But I just said, I mean, for everything I saw and heard here a week ago, both for the fire department and the police department, mm -hmm. I thought was all. Well, the question is whether or not. Perfectly okay. The question on the table at the moment is whether or not we ask the unofficial yeah. uh, agency or entity called NHMA, right. which I is an unofficial that. entity, uh, a question of ethics. <clears throat> So, asking a lawyer about ethics. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyway, that's essentially the question. You go to NHMA with a question. Uh, Not asking a lawyer. Well, please, Bob. Well, don't take we, the shots. Please, then. please, Bob. Uh, which a question which has not been raised. I mean, the police chief did not ask a question about whether or not uh, a member or, or two should recuse themselves. He proclaimed an opinion that they should. So the question has not been raised. He's going to be offered his opinion, a non-lawyer opinion, the police chief's opinion. We're not being challenged with a question at all. Mr. Frank. Uh, I'd just like to say that you have a motion. That's right. Floor, we're working on that. Below. Yeah, we're working on that. Any further discussion? Okay, with that, the motion is to essentially ask a lawyer about ethics from NHMA, and uh, therefore anyone in favor, please raise your hand. Mr. Ladd, Mr. Moore, all those opposed, raise your hand. Mr. Pluff, Regina Bonds, Mr. Frank, and Mr. Warburton. So the motion fails. Any further discussion on Police Chief Sawyer's ethics? Great, thank you.